So in this video, we're going to cover a new feature in V8 Bernita software called Color Photo Stitch. And in order to do this, we're going to first go ahead and bring up an artwork design. So I'm going to come over and navigate to my artwork canvas. And I'm going to come over to where it says uh, Insert Embroidery. And although you'll see where I'm targeting the, uh, the cat face, let me show you how I got there. Again, it was under Libraries, Pictures, and under Pictures, Public Pictures. Under Public Pictures, go to Bernina 8 Pictures. And under Bernina 8 Pictures, we're going to go ahead and look under Artwork. And under Artwork, you'll go for Photo Stitch. And there you're going to find that cute cat face. So I'll go ahead and select the cat face and click on import. Now I'll tell you now, I'm going to first zoom out a bit, but that cat face is coming in very big. You can see this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And the reason why that's coming in big is it has to deal with how the image was originally saved. And it's not an issue because our software is so smart that it will resize it so that the color photo stitch can best work with it. So with the image selected, I'm going to go ahead under the embroidery canvas and I will uh, see my image. This again is not stitches. This is an image. And you can see up here that I could come up and turn off images or turn them back on. I'm going to now with the image selected, I'm going to come over to the auto digitizing tools. And what I would first like to do is I want to show you what we had currently, we still have this, as well as uh, in what was in V7, and that was the photo snap. So let me click on that, and you'll see that instantaneously, pretty much, it turns this image into um, a series of, I'm going to call it zigzag stitches. So you can best see what the software did. Let me come back up here under the image bitmap viewer and click on that to hide that. So what we're seeing is one color of thread that is sewn in uh, like a, a zigzag stitch and it gets thicker in places and thinner in others. And as you back out from the image, you're going to see a really very striking image that's totally recognizable. I've done the Taj Mahal and I've also done the uh, the Mona Lisa, which was a class we had in Bernina Design Works. Um, I shouldn't say Bernina Design Works, it's Bernina em uh, Embroidery Software uh, Designer Plus here at Steve Sewenbeck in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. So um, I'm going to go ahead and undo that because that's not what the class is about. What the class is about is how to turn this into now a color photo stitch, which is a new feature in V8 software. So I'm going to come up to the color photo stitch and I'll get this dialog saying that the selected image is too large and it's going to be automatically resized to the recommended size. So I do appreciate the fact that the software is intelligent. It's going to do a couple of calculations and then it will bring up a dialog box where we can work forward. So here's my dialog box and I see the source bitmap, what it was originally, and what the preview is in thread colors. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go in and adjust the image. Do take note that we also have in embroidery uh, designer software, we have the Corel products, otherwise known as our art canvas, and in there we also have our photo um, uh, editing capabilities as well. So these are lovely tools that are inherent to this tool in the embroidery canvas, but note that if you want to do even more precise editing, you have that capability. The big thing about turning designs into stitches, especially if they're color, like this is to make sure that our contrast is really popping. Uh, if this was an individual uh, and I was seeing teeth, I would actually go in and make the teeth very white and the sclera of the eye, I would do the same, make that very white. It just makes the stitch out 
um, have more detail. Now we have some auto tools here and what was suggested in the exercise is under our lightness, if we grab the slider, you see I have a numerical value. And as I drag this one way or the other, you'll see that the image on the right, the adjusted bitmap, gets either lighter or darker. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this at about a 3.5. And then under contrast, which makes the differences between light and dark more apparent, we're going to adjust that so that the contrast is around a 10. And we'll say OK to that. And then when it comes to the, um, the color matching, there is a couple of different um, methods that we can do this. I'm going to let the uh, computer finish its processing, which it just did. And what we're going to do is we're going to go under matching method and we're going to say, let us use our thread chart. And the lovely thing about the software is if you click on this, you see a wide variety of thread lines here. And if I wanted one in particular like Sulky, I can come over here and add that to my to my thread line. And if I wanted to bring it back, I can bring it back. So it's it's very easy. For today's class, I'll be using the, the Isocore product. And if I click on Isocore and say, okay, the, uh, the colors will turn into our Isocore palette. But that would be true once again, if you use another brand like Robinson Anton, you can certainly do that as well. So once we've accomplished this, I will also set the resolution or the detail of this to high. And so I will click uh, OK. If I clicked Apply, it would make the changes, but keep this dialog open. If I click OK, it makes the changes and also closes the dialog. So I'll click OK here. And as we can see, it's going to work its magic. And when it's done, we'll have this image now in stitches. And I, I actually stitched this out. It does take some time to stitch. It stitches very beautifully. I, I was very impressed with the image quality and I have this stitched down on, on a towel and I'm showing it at uh, Steve Chubin's uh, shop here in King of Prussia for all to see the fabulousness of, of Bernina's software. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. And once again, just like I did with Photosnap, let me go ahead and hide the image that was behind. And this is how it's going to stitch out. You know, one of the, the new features we have in version or V8 software is our um, slow redraw. Uh, we can slow redraw with our true view shown. And we had that in V7 software, but an additional feature worth its weight in gold is the fact that now with my stitch player, I have a slide and I have full control over how quickly this is stitching out. I love the fact I can grab this playhead and move it to where I want it to be. So I uh, love that about the software. Of course, I can make it um, like stitch to the next color. I can make it re rewind, uh, etc. Now, one of the things you might want to consider I'll go ahead and um, and hide the uh, hide the player for the uh, for the time being. Um, one of the things that I like. Let me go under color film, and what you'll see here, are, of course, are, are the different the colors that make up this design. And um, what I appreciate about this is I um, I sometimes find if I don't stitch out all the colors, I get a less dense design, and I get kind of an impressionistic. Um, picture. So case in point, if I come over and say left click on this last image which has a lot of detail and right click on the color chip, do you see how I can say hide others which means it'll take everything else out of the um, out of the view and I only have this now. This would stitch out very quickly. It would give you the impression of a cat and I could come in here if I wanted to with, say, uh, paint sticks and fill in some detail. If I wanted to add more to this, I simply right, uh, excuse me, uh, left click on the paint chip, right click, and say unhide. And now I can add another color. And it doesn't have to be sequential. I might come up here and just experiment with, with what, what of these colors I want to, to add to my, my drawing, if you will. And so uh, I could stitch this out 
and it would be um, fewer colors. Now, if I decided to do that, I would need to go into each of the objects that are hidden and delete that object and then save the file. You know, a question some people uh, have asked is, I notice in V8 software, I no longer see the dialog here where it's telling me what um, grade artwork am I dealing with here or the art file per se. And the way that you find that is if you go under design and design properties, you're going to see down here where we have, uh, if it's like an artwork B or a C, which might mean that it was brought in, say, as a PES file or a VP3 file, it's still stitchable. Some of it is definitely still editable. But of course, we have full editing capabilities when we save it as our native format, which is at this point, Art V8. So I hope that that was helpful. I certainly enjoyed this color film. And PhotoSnap, once again, uh, no slouch. I'm still going to use that as well. It gives great definition, and I've used it on so many projects. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.